A beef herd grazes contently at UT's Ag Research Center in Spring Hill. But before these cows can enjoy their breakfast, hay must grow. And that's where fertile ground comes in, producing this lush pasture of fescue grass. We're, we're blessed to have uh, fescue. Uh, fescue has its place, but we also, being proper uh, managers of our forage, need to pull them off those fescue pastures and go to other things that, that can better serve the nutrient requirements of our beef cattle herds. So what else would be good for cattle to eat? This land also includes big blue stem forage and switchgrass, native grasses being studied by UT's Institute of Agriculture. The research looks at improving the nutritional value of the forage, the economic benefits to farmers, and how native grasses thrive, even in low-nutrient soils. This research project is happening here in Spring Hill on some of Tennessee's richest farmland and three other locations across the state. UT experts say it's important to monitor these native grasses over time, and this project is funded through 2020. Dr. Pat Kaiser is director of UT's Center for Native Grasslands Management and leader of this study. And what we're seeing from our research is that these native grasses make an awful lot of sense. That They produce a lot, cattle like them, they, they provide excellent gains, but they also get by on very low fertility. Kaiser says some of these grasses are just a foot tall but have roots that go down eight or nine feet. Those roots, in turn, create an underground civilization, putting organic matter and carbon out, which is good for soil biodiversity. Yeah, you know, one of the things that we've learned about uh, healthy soils is that it's all about organic matter, and more specifically, it's about roots. Roots is where the life in the soil congregates. It's like the, the rivers, the streams, the ponds of, of the underground world. These native grasses should keep growing through the end of August. We're talking cows here, but it's a classic chicken or the egg argument. Which comes first, the good ground or the healthy forage? Regardless, research shows they go together nicely. This is Charles Denny reporting.